So Aaron was in full compliance with California law, but the federal government says the California law is irrelevant. Aaron Sandusky has been sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for his role in operating the medical marijuana dispensaries known as G3 Holistic in California's Inland Empire. Reason TV has documented Sandusky's continued legal battle since November 2011. It's a fight that he's always said he's been willing to take to the finish. I'm going to defend uh, what I believe is right. And if I have to go to jail for 20 years defending, a, then so be it. After the sentencing, Sandusky's lawyer and supporters gathered in front of the courthouse to sound off about what they see as a miscarriage of justice. He had a trial where there was no defense because he admitted that he uh, cultivated and distributed marijuana. And so today was a sentencing day, and under federal law, he had to receive a minimum of a 10-year sentence. The medical marijuana movement is strong and it's growing in popularity. This judge needs to catch up with the times, but what happened today was just the height of injustice. During the sentencing, Judge Percy Anderson said, I'm going to take a stand for the rule of law is what I'm going to do in this case. And that Sandusky had lost his way about what's right and wrong, his moral compass. The smugness of the the judges and the officials in the room, um, they, they had an appearance of looking upon us with pity, like, like we were so misguided. And in fact, the judge said that in his sentencing of Mr. Sandusky, that we are lost. And I think that to say that 40 or 50 percent of the United States populace is lost is reflecting that they're completely out of touch. We disagree as to what the rule of law is. We say that under the Commerce Clause, the Federal Congress does not have the authority to pass laws regulating marijuana distribution totally within one state, such as California. So we're also upholding the, or trying to uphold the rule of law, just that our notion of what the law is includes the Constitution, not just statutes passed by Congress. Sandusky made a statement to the court and did not express remorse for selling medical marijuana, but instead said, I want to apologize to the people indicted with me they were victimized by the federal government. He wasn't sure whether he was going to speak because what they want you to do, the government wants you to do when you're in the sentencing, they want you to have remorse and they want you to, you know, apologize and to feel like, I'm sorry, I, I committed a crime, I'm not going to do this. Well, he doesn't feel that. He still feels really strongly about his decisions, um, about what he was doing. He feels that what he was doing was right. He's very passionate and very caring and generous. And, and everybody here um, that is, is here to support him are, have been witness to that. The next step here is to file the notice of appeal and take this case to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. Hopefully we'll get a better reception. But it does require a little judicial creativity in following the Constitution as opposed to statutes. Do you feel like um this has all been worth it? Um, you know, I have mixed feelings, obviously, for, for reasons. I don't want him to be in prison. He doesn't belong there. He doesn't deserve to be there. Um, and it's not worth it because the outcome is not the outcome that you would ultimately want. But it's not over. And I do stand behind him 100%. This is something that he feels strongly about. And, you know, unfortunately, we're in the position that we're in now, but I still stand behind him.